Hey, survivors, said Falsia. Here we have the Spinoraptor. Coming from the additional creatures Kami Creations mod, the Spinoraptor is a strange hybrid of Spinosaurus and an unknown species of raptor. It has the aquatic skills and strength of a Spino and the agility and mobility of the raptor. Has the Spino now become completely useless? Is the Spinoraptor just a stronger and more agile Spino? Well, in this video, I'm going to be doing an in depth comparison on these two creatures and finding the answers to these questions in another episode of ARK Creature Comparison. I'll be comparing them through 12 tests and 3 battles, which are sorted into 6 different categories, resistance, attacks, mobility, utility, perks, and lastly the battles. So first I'll be comparing them in the resistance category, and the first two tests are health and saddles. The Spino has 700 health, and the Spinoraptor has 568 health which is 132 less health than the Spino. The Spinoraptor's health is 81% of the Spino's health. The Spino saddle can be learnt at level 71, and the Spinoraptor doesn't actually have a saddle. It instead has an implant that can be learnt just at level 5. It doesn't need this to be ridden, but it gives the same amount of armor as a saddle would. The Spinoraptor wins this test. The resistance category is a draw with a 1 win per creature. The next category is attacks, which also doubles as a test. Useless attacks will earn 0 points, ok attacks 1 point, good attacks 2 points, great attacks 3 points, amazing attacks 4 points, and legendary attacks 5 points. The Spino's first attack is its bite. This can only be used in quadrupedal mode, which means when it is standing on 4 legs. This does 70 damage, can attack 1.4 times every second which means its DPS, damage per second, is 98. This attack uses 10 stamina and has a large AoE, area of effect. This is a great attack and earns 3 points. The Spinoraptor's first attack is also the bite. This does 77 damage, can attack 1.6 times every second, which means its DPS is 123.2. This attack uses 5 stamina, and insta-kills small fish. This is an amazing attack and earns 4 points. The Spino second attack is its swipe. This can only be used in bipedal mode, which is when it is standing on two legs. The Spino can't go into bipedal mode when underwater, so it can't use this attack underwater. This attack does 105 damage, can attack 1.3 times every second, which means its DPS is 136.5. This attack uses Chuff Stamina and has a large AoE. This was almost a legendary attack, but since it can't be used underwater, it's just an amazing attack and earns 4 points. The Spinoraptor's second attack is its Slash. This does 64 damage, can attack 1.3 times every second, which means its DPS is 83.2. This attack uses 5 Stamina, and it also insta-kills fish, and is good at harvesting organic polymer. It also ignores armor, making it really good for PvP. This is a great attack and earns 3 points. The Spino's third attack is its stance switch. This just switches between quadrupedal and bipedal mode. Quadrupedal mode is better for traveling, which I'll get into more later on. And bipedal mode is better for damage, as we saw with the swipe attack. This isn't really an attack, so it doesn't earn any points. The Spinoraptor's third attack is its roar. This is just for aesthetics and uses 5 stamina. This is a useless attack and earns 0 points. The Spino's fourth attack is also the roar. It's also just for aesthetics and actually doesn't use any stamina. This too is a useless attack and earns 0 points. The attacks test is a draw. The Spino has better attacks for land, and the Spinoraptor has better attacks for underwater. The creature's passive abilities, like the hydration buff, will be covered later on in the abilities test. The next category is mobility, and the first two tests are stamina and speed. The Spino will be running in quadrupedal mode for these tests, since it is much faster than bipedal mode. The Spino has 350 stamina, 
and can run 102 foundations in 18 seconds. This means its speed is 57 foundations per 10 seconds. The Spinoraptor has 400 stamina and can run 51 foundations in 9 seconds, which means its speed is also 57 foundations per 10 seconds. But the Spinoraptor can also jump. This is a very interesting jump. I ran while using the jump as much as possible and managed to run 230 foundations in 40 seconds. This means its speed is still 57 foundations per 10 seconds, but it managed to travel for more than 4 times as long compared to when I was just running normally. The Spinoraptor wins the stamina test, with 50 more stamina and being able to travel for a huge amount of time, if jumping. The speed test is a draw, with both creatures having the same speed. The next test is turning. The spiner's walking turning radius in quadrupedal mode is bad. Its sprinting turning radius is very bad. But while in bipedal mode, its walking turning radius is perfect. It's able to turn on the spot. And its sprinting turning radius is good. The Spinoraptor's walking turning radius is good. And its sprinting turning radius is meh. The spino wins this test, since it is super good at turning while in bipedal mode. The final test in the mobility category is swimming. The Spino has 650 oxygen and it doesn't use any stamina while swimming. Its speed is 40 foundations per 10 seconds. The Spinoraptor doesn't have any oxygen, which means it doesn't lose any oxygen. It can swim slow and fast. When swimming fast, it can swim 45 foundations in 9 seconds, which means its speed is 50 foundations per 10 seconds. You can also jump in and out of the water when it's on the surface. Using the jump will keep the same swim speed, but preserve a little bit of stamina. It can swim for 15 seconds if jumping. The swimming test is a draw, the Spino being better for long distance shallow swimming, and the Spinoraptor being a speedy mount for deep sea dives. The mobility category is a draw with one win per creature. The next category is utility. The first test in utility is weight. The Spino has 350 weight. And the Spinoraptor has 380 weight. 30 more than the Spino. The Spinoraptor has 109% of the Spino's weight. The Spinoraptor wins this test. The next test is harvesting. Both of the creatures harvest dead corpses. So they'll harvest stuff like meat, hide, keratin, chitin and so on. They are both equally good at harvesting them. The Spinoraptor is also great at harvesting fish meat and organic polymer from penguins when using its slash attack. The Spinoraptor wins this test. The Spinoraptor wins the utility category with both tests won. The next category is perks and the first test in perks is abilities. The points in this test work the same as they did in the attacks test. Both the Spino and the Spinoraptor have the hydration buff. They get this buff when they touch water, and it lasts for 30 seconds after they leave the water. This increases movement speed by 20%, so from 57 foundations per 10 seconds to 68 foundations per 10 seconds, damage by 15%, and health regeneration by 25%. This is a legendary ability, and earns 5 points. The Spino's second ability is its slightly larger field of view. This is only an okay ability since it's not by much, and it earns 1 point. The Spinoraptor's second ability is its insulation. Players nearby the Spinoraptor will receive the insulation buff. This will temporarily increase immunity to harsh temperatures. While riding the Spinoraptor, players will receive another insulation buff, so they'll have double the immunity. This is a great ability and earns 3 points. The Spino's third and final ability is its trample ability. By running on small and some medium creatures, the Spino will do 60 damage per trample. This is a good ability and earns 2 points. The Spinoraptor's third ability is that it's slightly armored, so it only takes 90% of incoming damage. This is a great ability and earns 3 points. Spinoraptor's fourth and final ability is its jump. This can help it travel up difficult terrain and also easily exit out of the water. Using this will also increase the amount of time the Spinoraptor can travel for. 
This is an amazing ability and earns 4 points. The Spinoraptor wins this test with 15 points, 7 more points than the Spina. The next test is Bonuses. Both creatures are rideable. The Spino doesn't allow rider weaponry, but the Spinoraptor does. Both creatures can be mate boosted. Both creatures can be bred. Both creatures lay eggs. The Spinoraptor's feces seem to be glitched, they just disappear. But even if it wasn't glitched, they would only be medium, while the Spino's is large. The Spino earns this bonus. Both the Spino and the Spinoraptor can damage up to wood structures. Both creatures earned 6 out of 7 bonuses, but the Spinoraptor wins since allowing Rider weaponry is much better than being slightly better at making fertilizer. The final test before we get into the battles is the taming test. There will be 8 factors to help decide which creature is the winner of this test. The creature that wins is the creature that is easier to tame. Both creatures spawn in rivers, but the Spinoraptor is more rare than the Spino, so the Spino wins this factor. Both creatures are aggressive, so this factor is a draw. Both creatures are knockout tames, this is also a draw. The Spino has 850 Torpor at level 1, and the Spinoraptor has 1800 Torpor, 950 more than the Spino. The Spino is much easier to knock out and wins this factor. The Spinoraptor is overall faster than the Spino, since the Spino will be in bipedal mode for when it gets closer to you, which is slower than the Spinoraptor. The Spino wins this factor, since it is easier to get away from and to keep at a safe distance. The Spino isn't carryable by Flyers, and the Spinoraptor is carryable by Quetzals and above. So the Spinoraptor wins this factor. Both of the creatures are immobilized by large bear traps and above. This factor is a draw. Both creatures eat meat, and their top 3 favorite foods are exceptional kibble, then raw mutton, and then raw prime fish meat. However, the Spinoraptor will require slightly more food, so the Spino wins this factor. The Spino wins the taming test with 4 out of 8 factors won. The Spinoraptor only won 1 factor, and the other 3 factors were draws. The Spinoraptor wins the perks category with 2 tests won. The next and final category is the battles category. This will show the creature's unmounted combat capabilities. There will be the 1v1 battle, the saddled 1v1 battle, and then the mate boosted 4v4 battle. Now that all of the categories are finished, it's time for the summary. The Spinoraptor won the Saddles, Stamina, Weight, Harvesting, Abilities and Bonuses tests, so 6 tests, and one of the battles. The Spino won the Health, Turning and Taming tests, so 3 tests, and won 2 of the battles. The other 3 tests were draws. The Spinoraptor is very hard to find and also very hard to tame, but if you manage to get one, You'll have an excellent mount for traveling and combat, not only on land, but for underwater too. And not just shallow waters, but also for deep waters, since it doesn't need oxygen. It even does more damage than the Spino when underwater. The Spinoraptor is also really good for harvesting organic polymer, not only because of harvesting a ton of it, but also because it will keep you warm for when you go into the snow biome to reach the penguins and their delightful polymer. The Spinoraptor is an improved raptor of both land and ocean for late game. The Spino remains the stronger combat mount for land, with its amazing swipe attack that has a very large area of effect, and superior health. 
The Spino is also good for long distance travelling across shallow waters, and is easier to find and tame. Well, we have now reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a like, and also make sure to be subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss any future creature comparison videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.